Ready? Three, two, <laughs> one. Hey guys, welcome to our second installment of Beer and Pizza Night. It's a rainy Sunday afternoon in Virginia Beach. We had originally thought we were going to do a video of the orientation of Miriam to the Can-Am Spider because she's going to be taking her licensing uh, training and certification next week, but the weather didn't want to cooperate. So we thought we would tell our story instead. It, and the reason we decided to, to tell the story, besides the fact we've actually had a, a viewer question about it, we were actually having breakfast today at the same restaurant we met at quite a few years ago. I'm feeling kind of sentimental. Yes, so that's going to be today's video. So, where to start? Well, actually, I was serving time for bank robbery and car larceny, but... Do you believe that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I'll let you start. Tell the story. Gosh, it was coming up on 11 years ago. Uh, both of us had been living kind of a parallel path, unbeknownst to us. She was not homeless. <laughs> That's true. But our um, spouses had both uh, left us. And, uh, you know, after some time, we were, we were trying to do the dating thing again and um, enrolled in Match.com, which is not for the faint of heart. That online dating stuff <laughs> never works. And you drink a lot of coffee. And you drink a lot of coffee and <laughs> kiss a lot of frogs. So I was having a, uh, what I thought was a great week. I was talking to three men and I went out to dinner with some of my girlfriends and I was explaining uh, or describing these three men and you know what I knew so far and I said uh, one of them was retired from the same organization where my friends were employed and so I asked them if they knew anything about him. All I knew was his first name was John and he was a pilot and one of my friends said oh that's I know that John don't have anything to do with him and I didn't know what to do. So I, we'd had been having such a friendly banter that week. So I went home and I wrote a polite but aloof email. And John being the good sales negotiator that he is says, Let's do lunch or let's meet. Let's meet. Yes, I, you know, face to face, close the sale. <laughs> so my thought was, well, you know, Saturday morning I had some errands to run. I was gonna go to Walmart. I was going to a Weight Watchers meeting, that kind of thing. I could fit in breakfast. So I suggest that we meet at um, what's now Eddie's Cafe and have. So that's what we did at like eight o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I had no expectations for this meeting, I didn't put on any makeup, I didn't do my hair. It was hot summer, so I just wore a tank top and, and capri pants with sandals. And it was, you know, I treated it as a come as you are kind of event. Uh, I had already met several uh, women uh, on the service and I was complaining to a very good friend of mine. I said, you know, I, I'm meeting some, uh, some fine, some nice women, you know, uh, attractive, smart, successful, but there was no, there was no, no spark, no, that's not what the word I want to use. Yeah, it is spark. Spark. There was no. There, there was chemistry. no. There was no chemistry. And and my friend looked at me and laughed. He goes, "John, you're not 16 anymore." I said, "But I want that. That's what I'm looking for." And he just laughed at me. He says, "You're a grown man. Get over it." So we're we're sitting there eating our omelets. This this place, Eddie's Cafe, makes delicious omelets. And I guess I'm about halfway through my omelet when I say to John. You know, I have a, a real sense of failure because my, my first marriage had ended. And uh, John said, well, 50% of marriages end in divorce, the other 50% end in death. And it, it just made me laugh. Have you ever had that feeling like you're, you found your tribe, you're talking to someone that you've known for a long, long time, although you've, you've only just met, and that's, that's kind of how I felt. And I thought, hey, maybe I should give this man a chance. I was, I was leaving breakfast, driving back to my condo. It was a 20-minute drive, 
and for the first time in many, many years, I'm saying to myself, wow. I remember the words, wow. I was really impressed. It was as if I had known this person all my life, but we had really just met for the first time. Yeah. And, and what's interesting, my friend that had such a negative opinion, she had been John's supervisor back many years ago, prior to that time. And you know, sometimes when you spend many years in an organization, they don't really give you credit for growing up. And I think that's, uh, that's what was at play there. But by saying that, she gave me the, the greatest gift because I was completely myself, I was completely relaxed, I had no expectations, and, and I think that, that when you present that way, you're always going to be more attractive to, to whoever you're, you're interacting with. So it was really a gift that, that she had made that comment and kind of uh, set the scene, if you will. And, you know, and gosh, we've, we've been married nine years and I still am, am very, very humble and very, very grateful to have been given a second chance. You know, if you watch the other video and you heard the rest of my story, this is uh, where things started coming back together again for my life. And it's amazing how much of a parallel path uh, we we share. Our, our, our spouses at the time had both left us uh, at similar times, and we had experienced that. And it's uh, it's been an interesting journey so far. Yeah, yeah, we went, we emerged from a very dark place. And, um, and we forged a life together. I feel like, you know, we, uh, we have such a, a great companionship and really enjoy uh, doing things together. I, I, I never experienced that in my first marriage, so it's, it's a real gift. But we wanted to, to show you a few images. Un unfortunately, we, we don't have a photo from that first breakfast. That's true. It's pre-selfies. Pre-selfies. Pre-smartphones. But um, this photo was taken uh, just a few days after, actually, maybe about a week or maybe two weeks later. Yeah, they're about. On one of our dates when uh, we went on the, the Dolphin Watch in Virginia Beach, which is, which is a great um, uh, date venue. And uh, what else can we say? I, you know, in, as you're um, enamored with a new love, you do goofy things. And <laughs> one of the things I did was I wrote a, a book for John about our story. And, I, and here it is, I called it um, Sipping from the Saucer because yeah. we actually uh, went to a seminar by Dr. Chapman. He's the man who wrote the Love Languages books. And uh, one of the things that, that he said is that you should live your life in such a way that you are sipping from the saucer because your cup is too full. And that's been kind of a theme for us, I, I think. I really think so. And if you've watched the prior videos, you know that although the spark for the motorcycle kind of got to us a couple of years ago after watching a series, multiple series of motorcycle travel. And I've always liked exotic travel. And an irrational being inside me said, you know, motorcycles, it's expensive. You're open to the air. Uh, there, there's, a, there's risk involved. And she said... And, and I said I'd always wanted to ride on a motorcycle. I had only done it once when I was uh, 20, I think, uh, you know, many, many years ago. So the seed was planted and the research was conducted and now we own a spider and we, we love it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's therapy, it's therapy. Yeah, and it's, it's just another way to, to continue the journey in a slightly different, different way. Seems like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? It does, but, uh, and in a way it seems like it was yesterday. So that's our story. It really is and I always like to, when I was when I was first starting to produce videos, uh, I always closed the video, which has been our tagline for our videos ever since. And the journey continues. Uh, whether the journey is just sharing life or whether we're doing something exotic, uh, motorcycling across the state or across the country uh, or, or whatever. Who knows what's next? Hot or ballooning? I don't know. Yeah. But uh, we're, we're going to uh, uh, enjoy life. And the journey continues. And the journey continues. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Well, until next time, y'all take care. And thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully the next video will be a lot more manly macho stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
Now we're out of focus. It just takes a minute. Okay. Take that again. Hey guys, welcome to our second. <laughs> some questions from some of our viewers about how did we actually meet because I told the horror story last okay let me put him back there. the bird our parrot decides he wants to be in the video and do voiceovers and it's a rainy Sunday afternoon and then I mean, allow me to speak some rather than you going on and on and on and on okay <laughs> all right <laughs> it's, it's my editorial all right feedback. Ready? Three, two, <laughs> one. Let's wow. take that again. Take that again. Let's do that again. Uh, thank goodness for editing. Uh -huh.